Hey there, today we are diving into the wonderful world of stabilization. Because let's face it, shaky footage can really affect the quality of your video. But fear not, because I've got the ultimate stabilizing solution for you in Premiere Pro. So let's jump right in. Alright folks, let's go to Premiere Pro because here is where the magic begins. Let's say you've got a footage that is shakier than your auntie's dancing on a wedding. But don't worry because we've all been there. Now in Premiere Pro, go to Effects, type down Warp Stabilizer, grab it and drop it over your clip and Premiere Pro gets to work analyzing and stabilizing your footage. And I won't lie, this might take a while depending on the length of your video and the quality of it. Now as you can see, there is some unnatural warping between the original footage and the one we applied the effect on. So what I'm going to do next is to fine tune things a bit. And to do that, I'll go up to Stabilization and from there I can choose between No Motion for that tripod-like stability or Smooth Motion for a more natural feel. And if you're still feeling that wobble, switch up your Stabilization method to Position, Scale and Rotation for that sleek gimbal look. In my case, I always use the Stabilize, Scrub and Auto Scale option, but there are other choices available for us. The first option is Stabilize Only, which shows what the Warp Stabilizer is doing to your shot. The second option is Crop, which allows you to scale your footage manually. And this option is perfect if you've got black bars at the bottom and at the top of your video. The final option is Center Size Edges, which fills the edges of the shot with what Premiere thinks belongs there. And if you want to use this option, this works best when there is not much detail in the shot, as it can cause funky artifacts. However, when done correctly, it is impressive. Now if you go down to the advanced settings, the default option is fast analysis, but you can choose detailed analysis if you want Premiere to take a closer look at your footage. This takes longer but often results in better effects. And if you still experience wobbling, there is one last thing that you can try. First, mask out any moving subject from the frame and keep them masked through the shot. You can do this manually by creating keyframes or by tracking the selected mask forward. Once the subject is properly masked, click the invert button to remove it from the shot. Then right click on the clip and nest it. Add the warp stabilizer and select detailed analysis. You can adjust the smoothness if necessarily, but once you have the desired effect, go inside your nest and toggle the opacity effect to bring the subject back into the frame. And since the moving element has been removed, which could have disrupted warp stabilizer tracking, the end result should be more stable. And there you have it guys, stabilizing your footage like a pro in Premiere Pro. Wow, that sounds really good. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials, and don't forget to leave a comment with your questions or suggestions for future videos. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.